All right, so now that we've got Table Plus on our machine and we've got Postgres installed on our machine and running, uh, we're going to jump right in and start learning some SQL. So to get started, uh, I've opened Table Plus up here. As you can see, this first little window is what you'll encounter. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do, you can see already, you can see some databases that I've connected to here uh, already on my local machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new connection here by clicking this little plus sign. Okay, and then I'm going to select uh, that I want to use a Postgres uh, server to connect to. So I'll click uh, create, or I'm going to use Postgres for that connection. And then it pops up this uh, window here. And then we can name the connection. And then if uh, we need to override any of the default information, we can do so here. Um, but uh, Table Plus behind the scenes uh, will use uh, the information uh, available from your keychain in order to make the connection. So I'm gonna give this connection a name. Uh, let's just say this connection will be for our, uh, let's see, the, the database that we're gonna make uh, in the table. We're gonna have a products table in this database, I think. So let's just call this connection uh, storefront, maybe. You know, let's just name it that. Uh, we'll leave all the default settings here. So default host settings, five, uh, port number, and all that stuff. And then we will just, uh, we can click test. And we can see that everything highlights green here, so that indicates to us that we're good to go. So we can go ahead and say connect. So now this is the new window that we see here from Table Plus. Let me see if I can make this a little bit larger for us. Okay, so now we're inside of Table Plus here. Okay, so quickly popping over back to the uh, Table Plus documentation here. It kind of gives us a breakdown of the area that we're looking at over here. Um, so on the left, we have the left sidebar, which is this area over here. And then at the, going across the top, we have what they're calling the toolbar, which is this area all across up here. And then that brings us over to the right sidebar right here. Okay. Now this area up here, this is what they call the table data view. And then down in here is our console log area. So. Uh, right now we have nothing set up. Uh, all we have is a connection to Postgres. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a database. And then from there, we need to make tables inside of that uh, database. So, uh, let's look at now how we can run some SQL to, uh, create a database. So if you look up in the toolbar up here, you can see this little SQL icon. Now, if you click this, this will open up an SQL editor, as the little tip here says. Or alter uh, alternatively, you can use the hotkey here, so Command E. Okay, and now we see that we are now in this little SQL editor here. So I'm going to actually expand this section a little bit. I'm going to shrink this one down some, something like that. And then run some SQL up here, and still see some uh, commands being uh, logged to the console below. So. Up here in this top portion here, this is where we're going to write the SQL uh, that we want to use to, you know, create, like I said, databases, create tables, drop tables, drop databases, um, you know, insert things into database tables, um, and uh, query database tables for records. So uh, now let's get started. Let's learn our first commands now. Uh, these are going to be the commands to create a database. Okay. So, like I said, uh, the connection I named storefront, I think I'm just going to name the database storefront as well. So, this will, you know, mimic uh, a store, basically. Let's, you can think of it like an online store, and that store is going to have products. But the first thing we need to do is make a database for the storefront. So, to do that, we're going to see our first uh, bit of SQL syntax right here. So, to create the database table for our storefront, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to write uh, a couple keywords here, a couple SQL commands or keywords. Okay, so we'll do we'll start typing create. As soon as you start typing, you'll see a list of um, you know matching keywords show up in Table Plus. The one we want is right there, that first one, create. So we can hit tab on that, and then it will uh, tab complete that keyword for us. So we'll say create. The next thing we want to say is database, and then you can see as we start to type, database shows up. Again, I'll hit tab to do the completion there. And then next, uh, we'll write the name of the database that we want to create. Now, uh, before we do that, you'll note here that uh, these keywords are put in capitals. 
uh, or in all caps. Um, that is convention for the SQL uh, keywords and commands that you want to write. So the built-in stuff you want to write in all caps. Now certain things that uh, you control or, um, or you name, you know, like we're about to write the uh, name of the database, we can write that in lowercase letters. Uh, the other important thing here is that you want to terminate your SQL statements with a semicolon. So let's finish this one out and we'll uh, again look at the syntax here. So create database, all caps. Next, we want to say what the name of the database is that we want to create. So I'll just call this one storefront. Okay, and then I'll end that with a semicolon. Okay, so let's get started creating our storefront database. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to write a couple of SQL keywords here. So the keywords that we're going to start out with, the first two that we're going to learn, are create database. Okay, that's the command we're going to put together. So we'll use the create keyword. So we can just start typing create and we'll see that table plus gives us a list that populates of matching keywords here. So create is what we want. We'll hit tab on that. And when we do, it auto completes it for us. And then you can see that create is in all caps there. Now this is convention for the uh, built-in SQL keywords. You wanna write them in all caps. And then uh, your things like, uh, for example, right now, the name of the database table that we're gonna create, which is gonna be storefront. We can write that information in all lowercase letters. The other important thing is that you want to terminate your SQL statements with a semicolon. So let's finish writing this one and we can see the whole thing um, in action here. So we'll say create. The next thing we want to write is database. That's our next keyword. Again, it pops up. We can hit tab to complete that. And now next, we want to write the name of the database that we want to create. So in this case, I'm just going to name it storefront. Uh, oops, storefront. Okay, and then that is it for this command, except for the terminating semicolon here. So that's our first SQL statement right here that we've learned. Create database in the name of the database, storefront in this case, end it with a semicolon. Now we can go ahead and run this. So you can come down here, you can click this button, or if you see here, uh, you can do uh, command return, uh, command enter, and it will run this uh, command here as a as a you know shortcut you can use co that command enter so I'll do that command enter and we can see that uh, some other information popped up right so in this uh, middle section here the table view I uh, just kind of logged that you know it, it was okay and it created it and down here it, it logs the uh, command that was just run now how do we know if th this really created the database well one thing we can do in, in uh, table plus here is in the toolbar our little uh, Pancake stack, as I like to refer to it here. You can see if you hover over, the little tip says, uh, let's open a database. Alternatively, you can do Command K. So I'll just click this for now. And then we see the list of all of the uh, databases that we have available to pick from. And if we look in this list, we see storefront right there. So we did, in fact, create a database. Now, what if we want to drop this database? How do we do that? Or we, like delete the database, essentially? Well, I kind of gave it away right there, but the command to do that is drop. So we can come over here and replace create with drop. And then still the, everything else stays the same. Drop database storefront. And then now if we run this, again, I'm going to hit command uh, return here to run that statement. Or again, you can come down here and click the run current button. And we'll do that. And it'll run that statement. And you see that it ran the drop database was run. And again, it logs it out down here, drop database. So now... If we go to open a database, we click our little pancake stack and we look in this list and it goes in alphabetical order here. Uh, you can see that storefront is not in this list uh, any longer. So we have successfully created and dropped uh, that storefront database. But let's end this video by actually creating it. That way we have something to work with uh, going forward in the next video. So again, that command is create and I'll run that command return. And then we see the create database that ran okay and again down here it's just logging the commands that were run so we see our command history and if we open up uh, the list of databases again we can see storefront in there again so we have our storefront database created in the next video we'll learn how to add tables to this database